What's up YouTube? Thanks for tuning in to my channel. I just wanted to share something with you guys today. I upgraded a little cheap drill press that I had. Um, I got it on let go I think for like 30 bucks and uh, the chuck on it was bad and the motor on there was just really weak. Um, so I changed the chuck on there and now that's really nice. I put a really nice chuck on there and um, then the motor it just was driving me crazy because every time I go to drill and go to push down on it it would stop and it's just it's the most annoying thing when all you want to do is drill something and your drill keeps stopping so i have a ton of electric motors i kind of collect them if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know that but uh anyway i had a hard time kind of choosing which motor i i wanted to use because a lot of the real big nice motors i have i have other projects i want to use them on so i've got a bunch of these because they come out of old washers or dryers the old school ones and this was actually out of a big dryer. Um, it's kind of, they, there's not much other uses for them or I don't see a, not a lot of people using these motors. And at first I was a little skeptical on, on how well it would do because on first instinct, I don't really feel like these motors have a lot of power, but I'm gonna have to say I'm impressed. Uh, the motor has plenty of power and it doesn't matter how much pressure I put on this thing that thing keeps drilling so I'm very happy with that it was a really easy build to do all I did was weld I welded a piece of angle to somebody shooting over there I welded a piece of angle to the right to the side of the motor I mean this is a I don't care I, if I ruined the motor oh well I got a bunch of them but I just welded a piece of angle right to the side of the motor and then another piece of angle to that which went up here um, and went to the original bracket from where the motor used to be mounted and then I took some screws and I went into the aluminum frame on the top here. It's aluminum, so I couldn't weld to it. So I put some screws right into that, that down into the frame and voila. I took the original pulley off the original motor and uh, put it right on the shaft, the shaft size match. That was also part of what made me decide to use this motor is because the shaft size was the right size for the pulley. That's kind of important um, whenever you're doing something like this. You got to make sure you find something that has the same shaft size or you have something to adapt it anyway so that worked out really well I was a little skeptical on how the motor was going to work but once I got it wired up um, which is kind of tricky and if you want to know how to wire one of these motors leave a comment below and I'll do a video on that if you want to know um, but once I got it wired up after that headache anyways uh, it works really well I powered it up I was a little skeptical like I said but I just drilled this whole piece which I'll show you in a minute um, I just drilled this whole piece of very thick wall aluminum. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you the thickness. I mean, that's a thick wall. It's like three eighths. Um, that's pretty thick. But it drilled it like a champ. I've drilled steel with this as well. Um, C channel, three by three angle iron, quarter inch. I've drilled it all, and it all does really well. So overall, I'm very happy with the build. I'm very happy with the project, and I took a 30 year $30 piece of junk and now this is actually a very very useful uh, tool in my shop I have a big drill press but the belts out on it and I haven't felt like going to buy a new belt so I've got a ton of this aluminum square tube to build a bunch of handrails I've got a ton of, ton of this square tube that I've got to drill so I got a uh, little Betsy out and uh, I'm gonna have to say I'm impressed she's doing a great job so I just wanted to share that with you guys um, of course, there's also some things about these drill presses. You can change the, um, the belt. See, if you look up here at the pulley, you can change the belt to different uh, parts on the pulley. From, and it changes the ratio for this different speed and more torque. So uh, I've got this one set to where it's a lot more torque and lower speed. Um, I found with aluminum, that works better for me. And uh, with this particular motor, that makes it work well as well. So. Just keep that in mind whenever if you decide to do a project like that and use one of these motors, make sure you gear it properly. But other than that, if you like this video, don't, don't forget to please like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, I would really appreciate that. that. That motivates me a lot to do more, vo more videos like this. And uh, I've got a ton of stuff like this I could make videos on, but uh, I guess uh, it's just you gotta get the time, you know what I mean? Um, but I've got some good ideas and some good videos coming up. I appreciate you checking out my channel. Have a good day.